गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस इज आवर थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ आवर चैप्टर वॉट इज द चैप्टर नेम टाउन्स ट्रेडर्स एंड क्राफ्ट मैन ओके सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सूरत एंड द लास्ट ट्रेडर्स एंड क्राफ्ट मैन नाउ लेट्स बिगिन विथ सूरत सूरत इन गुजरात इज सिचुएटेड ऑन द बैंक ऑफ रिवर ताप्ती एंड इट वॉज एन इम्पोर्टेंट पोर्ट एंड ट्रेडिंग टाउन ड्यूरिंग द मेडिवल पीरियड्स सूरत वॉज अ कमर्शियल टाउन अकॉर्डिंग टू दौरते बारबोसा शिप्स फ्रॉम मेनी कंट्रीज डॉक्ट एट सूरत ड्यूरिंग द रेन ऑफ मुगल सूरत बिकम अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कमर्शियल सिटी फेमस फॉर ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ टेक्सटाइल पर्टिकुलरली द कॉटन टेक्सटाइल ओके नाउ सूरत इज अ पोर्ट सिटी वेर इट इज सिचुएटेड इन गुजरात लोकेटेड एट द लेफ्ट बैंक ऑफ द ताफ्टी रिवर नाउ इट बिकेम इंडिया चीपेस्ट पोर्ट अंडर मुगल रेन एंड आउट हियर द ब्रिटिश गेन द फर्स्ट होल्ड ऑन वेस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ एशिया सूरत वॉज अ पोर्ट सेंटर ऑफ टेक्सटाइल ट्रेड स्पेशली ऑफ कॉटन टेक्सटाइल दैट इज फाइन कॉटन टेक्सटाइल विथ जेरी बॉर्डर्स व प्रोड्यूस बाई क्राफ्टमैन एंड दिस व एक्सपोर्टेड टू मार्केट इन वेस्ट एशिया एंड यूरोप द इंग्लिश सेटअप ट्रेडिंग पोर्ट्स इन सूरत इन सिक्सटीन टूवेल्व दे व फॉलोड बाई दर्ज एंड फ्रेंच दैट इज अपार्ट फ्रॉम द ब्रिटिश वी कैन सी दैट फ्रेंच पोर्टुगीज डर्ज ऑल्सो एस्टैब्लिश दे आर फैक्ट्रीज इन सूरत नाउ द लोकेशन ऑफ सूरत ऑल्सो हेल्प it to be prosperous ships uh, carrying hajj pilgrimage to makkah set sail from there realizing its importance the portuguese merchants they tried to control the trade in surat and they issued charters or passes to the local ship in the sea this ensures safe passage passage to the ships and the merchant with the coming of the english and the dutch the portuguese control over the coast and over surat weekend that is surat is now has become the heart of diamond polishing also uh, children a few points are not given which is important uh, part of this surat so i am just explaining you just listen to it carefully okay now surat is now the heart of diamond polishing industry in india and surat has emerged as an industrial hub for production of synthetic fiber and also man made fabric and because of its important in textile industry surat has been called as a manchester of east now surat also have flourishing ship building industry okay and surat ship were uh, was used to be believe a great rival to european ship in quality that is surat ship was a best quality as compared to that of the european ship now surat has enjoyed great prosperity between the 16 and the 17 uh, 18th century shivaji has plundered it uh, twice that is has looted the precursor from surat twice in 1664 and 1670 with the decline of the mughal empire and the rise of the bombay as a major port and administrative center surat decline is important and today surat is a major center of diamond trade already i have said you this now surat has lost its important how after the decline of the mughal empire and secondly because of the importance of the bombay which become major port and administrative uh, administrative center with europe clear about the surat now we will discuss the last portion of your chapter that is traders and craftsmen that is in 16th and 17th century european countries were searching for spices that we call in hindi masala and textile which had become popular both in europe and west asia and the english dutch and the french they formed the east india company in order to expand their commercial activities in the east okay so there were both a uh, small and big traders town was been found out there 
that is a small uh, trader operated in a limited area in a small area and the big one has owned a large area that is fleet of the sheep and trade um, their traders that is their production used to go to different area also that is spice and textile were the most uh, traded item out there this was sold in uh, to traders in the ports of the red sea persian gulf southeast asia and china the most important is that indian spices was such as pepper cinnamon and nutmeg rich europe and the trader involved in this trade reaped huge profit that is the trader who engaged in this activity of the uh, import of spices have earned a huge profit from this that is from the spices and textile okay now due to the great demand of the textile good what happened then it has led to the great expand of the crafts spinning weaving bleaching and dyeing activities that is traders generally travel in caravan and they also form guilds to protect their interests and the banjaras i think you all know children who are the banjaras they used to migrate from one place to another now the banjaras were a trading group how they used to travel from one place to another they used to buy goods from one place and they used to sell that goods to the other place they have organized the transport of good from one place to another okay now this uh, craftsmen made goods of different kind while the sultan and nobles one luxury because they were used to have the highest position isn't it so they used to live a very luxurious life so the goods cotton and silk textile were produced on a large scale for the locals and even for the export also the mughal empire what they have done they established workshop in which craftsmen practicing different crafts were been worked out there they produced goods for the emperor that is the craftsmen used to produce luxurious goods for the emperor and the ro- royal household thing they used to produce now craftsmen in towns and village made a variety of goods for such as which has become the commercial exchange okay which had proved that the commercial exchange means exchanging the goods from one place to another and even earning the source of income also that is the revenue has also increased clear so children we have completed our this chapter so must go to your text if any doubts and confusion is there you can just ask me okay without any hesitation thank you